Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today, this is part one of this video, because this is going to take a long time. So we're going to try to turn this truck into a replica of this truck. That's right, the Racer's Edge, Fast and Furious, first Fast and Furious movie. Paul Walker drives this at his dr job at the Racer's Edge. And so, I know that it's a Ford F-150 Lightning version, um, yeah, I'm not an idiot, so, um, but, uh, I actually found a Racer's Edge, this is like one of the first toys that came out, and it actually is just a regular Ford F-150, like the one that I have. It's got the same rally wheels and everything, and it's got the extend cab here it looks just like this except for uh, no decals so um, I'm gonna try to just kind of replicate that and that's gonna take a while and so it'll be uh, several parts but this is part one and I hope you enjoyed the video I really wish you would subscribe and like the video and comment um, Feel free to comment if you want to. That'd be great. So another thing I did to this Ford F-150 is that this has, this is the extend cab part, and this has back seats um, for passengers. However, I knew that I would use it to haul stuff around. So what I did is I, you know, cleaned it, cleaned it up really good, and underneath here, you can see it's, it's that, so it needed a mat. Well, I had an extra truck bed liner, um, for some reason, uh, I think I had it in, in one of my Jeeps, but I bought a giant pair of 10 snips, and used that to cut right here, because it gives it a clean line. And so I, I kind of just chalked it out and measured, I measured it and chalked it out and then cut it with the 10 snips and that gave it the clean uh, measured look that it is. Um, and now I can put stuff in here and not have to worry about getting this back seat dirty or anything. Um, so anyway, that's another um, thing that I did for this truck. Um, and uh, to be continued. And on another note, we still have to deal with that awful, hideous window tent over there. We got it off really good in the back, and boy, it is so much clearer. I can see so much better backing out, but this stuff is just so old and just so dry rotted that uh, it's going to be difficult to remove. We've got another piece right here, you know, on this side window, and uh, we'll get started on that one later. But first things first, we're going to remove the trim pieces, double-sided stick tape. Okay, so in our attempt to recreate the Fast and the Furious Racer's Edge truck, we've got to remove these trim panels off of here. So I've already done that. And now I'm going over it with a rubber wheel to remove the double-sided stick tape. And it's an old car dealer's trick to use Vaseline to give a car, a, a car with flat paint. If you want to give it a super shine, you can use Vaseline. But the problem with that is generally you can only do it one time. So, if you have a potential buyer, and you have flat paint, and you're not going to paint it, you can use Vaseline, and it will give it a new car shine. But once it rains, that shine is gone, and <laughs> your purchaser is going to be stuck with some flat paint. So, I'm not recommending doing that, because it does make it worse in the long run. I'm only mentioning that because... I did own a car dealership for about five years, so 
And this little trick is what I'm using to loosen up the double-sided stick tape here. I haven't applied it to the rest of it yet, but I'm just doing the driver's doors right now. And, you know, yeah, I know the Ford F-150 in the movie was a lightning, uh, but this one is an extend cab Ford F-150. So we're just trying to recreate it just for the shits and giggles of it. Uh, no big deal. So, um, but that is uh, something you can use as Vaseline. It won't hurt your paint, but it's not going to improve it either. Uh, and since I'm going to remove this, it is okay to use it to loosen up this double-sided stick tape. All right, so we're going to end this first part of the video right here. The pictures that you just saw were before and after because this grill was just shot all to hell and pockmarked. And so I just repainted it, painted it black. So um, this was the end result. And thank you for watching part one of this video. Please subscribe and thank you for, for watching.